David Shannon was born in Washington, D.C., and then he later moved to Spokane, Washington, and that's where he grew up, and, and discovered his love for artwork. He then attended the Art Center of Design in Pasadena, California, and he wrote 32 children's books. All right, so some fun facts about the author David Shannon. Um, the book No David was actually based off of himself, um, because when David Shannon was five years old, he wrote this little book, I guess, and he used, like, he, um, drew pictures and the only words in it were no and David. And so that was the inspiration for no David. Um, and then David Shannon is also a very passionate baseball fan and he also plays softball. So no David by David Shannon. We chose this as our favorite book because we thought um, that the images were very nice and colorful and playful and it really gave a childlike feel to it. And not only that, but we thought that the book was great for children because it was engaging and very playful, something that a lot of children love for books. And this best exemplifies his work because of a, lot, a lot of his work is very bright colors, but also dark colors, which represents like the brightness of life and also the darkness of life and kind of like bringing that together to balance each other out. And also his work is acrylics. So we thought this best exemplified his work because a lot of his work does involve with acrylics. And when you look through this book, you could tell there's acrylics on there and there's a lot of it shown. No David by David Shannon. David's mom always said, no David, no David. No, David, no. No, no, no. Come back here, David. David, be quiet. Don't play with your food. David Goes to School by David Shannon is also another one of our top choices because it also had a playfulness to it. And this is also another um, kind of like a version or edition of the No David. And we also thought this had a playfulness to it and was good to include as well. And the illustrations are very similar to No David, but they were still different and engaging. Jingles, A Big Fish Story by David Shannon. This was another one of our top selections because we thought that the images were very colorful, they were very detailed, and not only that, but the storyline itself I thought was very deep, and it gave children a very good reason to think, oh, should I do something for the fame and glory, or because it's the right thing to do. And as you look through the book, you'll see that the images are very detailed, which is another feature that I liked in this book. I'm Lane Falk and I'm the editor of Scholastic News. I have been a huge fan of the author and illustrator David Shannon for years. Did you know he based the character David on himself as a kid? I was so excited to get to interview him for our magazine. Here's what he had to say. My name is David Shannon and I'm an author and illustrator of children's books. The books start as little pieces of ideas in my notebook. Even write down the ideas I think are dumb, because sometimes those turn out to be the best ones. Those ideas generate more ideas until I've got enough ideas to write a book. But it takes about eight months to a year to illustrate a book. I work pretty much every day. Sometimes I work five hours, sometimes I work 14 hours if I get going on a painting. I almost never get things right on the first try. It's really nice if I do. Uh, so a lot of the time I have to do four or five different sketches. A lot of people think I know exactly how to, to paint the pictures I do, but I don't. A lot of times I have to uh, make mistakes and I paint over things. Sometimes I completely start over. When I finish a book, I take all the paintings, I put them all down on the floor so I can look at them all at once. And uh, there's a feeling of pride there and also it helps me check and make sure that all the details are right. Sometimes I'll get an idea at the end of a book uh, for a better painting and I'll start that painting over because it's a lot 
if I don't do that, every time I look at the book, it's going to bother me. I'm going to say, ah, oh, I could have made that better. I could have done this. So I found that it's it's worth making the extra effort. It's for me, it's real actually just a pain. <laughs> I get a date. Uh, but I also like to play softball, I like to fish, play guitar, uh, all kinds of things really. I have a lot of activity. My advice to kids, if they want to be an illustrator or an author, is just to do it a lot. You know, do what you, or anything, do what you like to do and do it a lot. Work hard at it. Uh, if you're drawing, draw things that you're interested in because you'll spend more time doing it, you'll be able to picture them better, you'll have more fun, and the drawings will come out better. So this is my dog Fergus. He really is my dog. Yeah, yeah, I tried everything too. Mm -hmm. Yep, I put Fergus in all my books. Somewhere he's in all my books, so see if you can find him. <laughs>